Hello, viewers. Welcome to my channel, Since 316 Investor. We will take a look at the markets. We'll do an update video today, given the markets are wobbling a little bit. And uh, so the focus of today's video is going to be markets within our 360 degree framework. And so we, before we begin, quick word about the disclaimer of providing financial advice. Please pause, read through this uh, before continuing. Thank you. Okay, so without much further ado, as a, we're going to, I'm going to take a look at the Dow 30 stocks, which are commonly known as the blue chip stocks. So let's take a look at this because it's a smaller set than looking at the S&P 500, which is 501 stocks, given uh, Google has two issues in there. So this can be used as a kind of a good little barometer to see um, what, what's going on. So let's have a look and see what we can uh, okay, so this is the monthly chart. Let's take a look at the monthly chart just to see the big picture of where how things are looking as well. And um, so we'll focus on the the, long, the, the longer view. And this is the, the stocks are sequenced by year to date performance. And uh, so, and basically, obviously. You know, this is a multi-year view. So CRM, Salesforce, has been a nice long uptrend. Kind of peaked um, around the uh, nine mark. Then they had a big sell-off. Recovered. And from the from its recovery point, it's the best performer in the Dow Jones index. Still off the peaks, though. So it hasn't, it hasn't yet reclaimed prior highs now. The other thing to notice is that we have a swing high here on which it's been coming back down. So the question is going to be, you know, do we have enough room in the markets to take out these swing highs over here? Or is this an indication of weakness and yeah, trajectory is now bearish again? So we won't know the answers yet. But let's see what the uh, rest of the Dow Jones stocks are doing. Okay, so second best performer is in C, which is Intel. And we can see that this one's quite a ways off its swing highs up here, the double top up there. Yeah. But off the lows, it's the second best performing stock um, this year up just around 40%, whereas Salesforce was up in the much higher than 60, 60%. Okay, but we can also see the relative strength on a monthly basis is in lagging, to say the least, and then we've got this bottoming action here moving up. So showing strength from the lows, but knowing they got quite a ways to go to get up into new ground. And good old Apple, nice, up to the end over the years, holding a much better in terms of its uh, swing high highs up here. So we're not too far off uh, off that. In fact, it's within ten percent of its highs, which is which is good. So no big sell offs here, but in, in terms of its uh, year to date performance, it's around thirty nine percent, which is pretty decent as well. Okay, Microsoft, very similar picture. <clears throat> we can see um, very close to its highs, and it's only off by less than 10%. Nice, actually, consolidation, even though it's a long, longer time frame. So Microsoft is holding up pretty good. It could be forming a, a bottom towards a consolidation pattern. So <clears throat> it's in good shape. Visa long uptrend it's been basing for quite a while but now it's fairly close to its swing on it and visa also is within about six percent of the highs up here so no big sell-offs in visa and these are obviously se sequenced in rank order of best performing to to worse then we get to cisco so now we get a little bit more volatility showing up in this chart so this goes off its highs here, but reclaiming quite a bit. 
Yeah, a little volatile to you with caterpillar <clears throat> being quite wild. Not not as linear or smooth as would like, but good news is it's holding up pretty close to its eyes. So these are the stronger falling stocks. Well, in Walmart, if you see Walmart, it's uh, very close to um, its highs here as well, within about five six percent. Amgen Amgen has um, gone through a few lawsuits etc but overall slow and steady it's been a story here very close to swing highs here and um, moving up fairly well for the year as well so good strong performance jp morgan chase its financial bank and this one we can see a little choppy it's uh <clears throat> quite a good move off the lows again some kind of consolidation right now and uh, it's within 10 percent of size then we get to american express and another financials but not as strong as jp morgan so we can start to see mid highs here lower highs slightly lower highs and it's testing support zones where it's at so not a strong technical setup there so this is the actual index uh, proxy for the Dow Jones, the DIA ETF. So if we just look at this, it's not too far off. It's <clears throat> um, highs up here, made quite a way, came back quite a ways, and but has been moving back down again. So this one is uh, within six percent of uh, its uh, highs here. But would need to get above this level for us to really confirm that we're back into able. Okay, so the, the stocks that are going to follow next are all underperforming the benchmark index, which is the DIA. And straight off the bat, we see a negative picture with IBM downtrending, although kind of choppy. And our chemicals, you can see all the pictures down. So United Health, the picture, <clears throat> the trend is up, the picture is good. Consolidation in here, holding up pretty good. So this one might be worth taking a look at. Boeing, with all these troubles with the 743 or whatever it was, Max Airs. So it's kind of struggling, hasn't been able to take down you know, the swing peaks here. And now it's back in a downside trajectory. Disney has fallen onto hard time since COVID has not yet been able to find the floor and cover. Procter and Gamble, which is done well because of through COVID defensive stock. It's hanging in there. Um, fairly close to its size. Given that it's, a, it's defensive nature and that's reasonably well, kind of tells us that uh, there's some money parked in this one. Work, which is uh, also in the health industry. So mm. defensive by nature to some extent. And pulling back, unable to find new high ground. <clears throat> McDonald's again, which is always uh, overall kind of a growth story, but certainly came up its eyes and now looking to find support. Yeah, that around two forty, two fifty zone. Home Depot still off its recent highs. Goldman Sachs, which is a bellwether for finance. Unable to write it up the rest, kind of consolidating here. Chevron, which has done well because of uh, where we are with the energy set, energy sector. 
um, the upper moves kind of stalled out is possibly forming a new area of consolidation. So if it can work up from here, then maybe we can break out. And Johnson Johnson, again, kind of a, more of a defensive stock. Unable to <clears throat> reclaim highs. Honeywell industrials. So some industrials are doing pretty good. And this one, a little bit of a downtrend. Travis Insurance, again, financial services. It's done well coming out of COVID, but kind of in a downtrend from market high. Nike, uh, this one's been subject to China woes. Lower high, and looks like if this low undercuts here, then we're going to be in a very strong established downtrend on Nike. Coca-Cola's come off quite a ways, so this was doing pretty good. And then <clears throat> so this one's clearly broken down at this stage. Verizon, uh, this is <clears throat> complete mess. It uh, kind of dropped out in the sixty, low sixties up here, and then ever since it <clears throat> broke fifty-five, it's just been in a downtrend. And even though it sports a good dividend, this one is just not in good shape. Yeah, <clears throat> kind of another dividend story. They've had their problems with uh, legal battles and uh, firm established downtrend on this one. So money is just coming out. Walgreens. Another dividend story in a fairly well-established downtrend. And then back to Salesforce.